All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? Oops. Forgot to take the cover off. All right, we're going to do a whip and chat here. Hopefully get through this black and this, and then I can go to the center of the top section. Sorry. Okay, so. Diamond Art Club's Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. Okay, basically at the top. Uh, square drill, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. 42 colors, including four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill. The sparkle's a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code is considered a an AB. 150 is considered an AB. <laughs> I say anything under 150 the first time. I don't remember. Alright, anyway. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Another helicopter going over. Kind of sounds like it. We get orange helicopters going over our place all the time. Uh, no, it's a motorcycle. Okay, never mind. All right, so just working on this three down. Oh, that is an orange helicopter. Uh, and a motorcycle. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're just a really popular house to for them to hang out. All right, so hopefully I can get this three ten figured out here. <laughs> I worked all weekend on nights, so yeah. It's my first time uh, working on the canvas in a bit in a few days. Oh, it was sitting here waiting for me. All good. Alright, there we go. Oh. Well, I'll get this canvas done eventually, but yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Right. Yeah, my mom's watching General Hospital or GH, and they're doing outside stuff, like outside scenes, and it just seems so weird on a soap. It just like out outdoor stuff. <laughs> The audio seems to be like a little off. They probably just have like a boom mic above them, whoever, the characters that are talking, or the actors, or whatever. Yeah, I can sit through an episode of GH. I, Yeah, my mom's watched it for years, but I'm not sure if she's, like, watched every single episode, but, <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's one soap I can, like, handle watching. Yeah. I went to Burger King for the first time today. <laughs> it was all right. Their coffee is nothing to write home about, though. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> I asked for two cream, two sugar, like a double double, and I think I just tasted cream. <laughs> I don't. I finished that anyway. Finished the coffee anyway, but I don't know. Not much flavor to the coffee, but they're not known for their coffee. I had the chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. And then I did a survey to get a free Whopper, so, I don't know, it's just a survey campaign that was on the back of the receipt. And, oh boy, do they make sure you have a receipt. <laughs> Not just filling out a survey. <laughs> oh my god. Store 28,999. So, Burger King must be a big thing down in the U.S., 
yeah. I don't I saw a documentary or something about Burger King or whatever. I had never been to <laughs> how it like came to be. Uh, food that made America snack size or something that show on history or whatever yeah I don't know it's like I've never tried Burger King so there you go I don't know it, it just opened in Stratford there at a one end of town like, oh, Burger King, cool. Yeah, it's a good alternative to McDonald's. Fries are bigger. Less salt on the fries. There are alternatives to McDonald's, but... Yeah, it's just that McDonald's has always been on hand, like... Just, hey, I want, like, a quick snack or whatever, McDonald's. Oh, it's just that. <laughs> I don't know. I walked into a Wendy's and had their burgers and stuff. But, yeah, the reflex, yeah, just seems to be McDonald's. It just, <laughs> it's just around and handy. I think that's... The main driving point for just going to McDonald's. It's kind of like Tim Hortons too. Want a coffee or a donut? Usually just think uh, Tim Hortons. Around here anyway, in Canada. There's Starbucks up here. I see social media about Dunkin' Donuts, but I think that's more of the U.S., is it not, for Dunkin' Donuts? It's basically uh, America's Tim Hortons, really. So, yeah. I'd check it out. <laughs> as long as they have coffee, then, yeah can't really judge too harshly <laughs> I'll only go to Starbucks if I'm desperate <laughs> yeah there's like a chapters or something like there's a Starbucks in a chapters or whatever in like London Ontario um we were there, my mom and I were in London, and yeah, we just, yeah, I wanted a coffee, so I had, had never tried Starbucks, but yeah, it's a little strong, that's nothing wrong with Starbucks, like, that's a good option, like, if you want a coffee or a drink or something, it it's a good go-to. Like, can't really hate on like anything like fast food, really. But yeah, their coffee is really strong. <laughs> I like medium roast, but I drank it anyway. The Starbucks coffee, it was just really strong. But yeah. I tried it, so can't really. I don't think I would want like a frappuccino or something. It's just I just want coffee. <laughs> Nothing wrong with those fancy frappuccinos or anything. It's just yeah, I'm just straightforward kind of coffee. I used to have uh, Tim Hortons ice caps all the time got a large one and yeah slight caffeine and sugar fix but yeah I just stopped having those
I don't know, nothing wrong with any of those options that I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything, but yeah, it, it's nice that there are options out there and people have that flexibility to go to any of these locations. Kind of nice to see Burger King, like I see it advertised tons, like I see commercials. Yeah, it's nice that there's one like actually somewhat local. London, Ontario is 45 minutes away, but just to get a burger, <laughs> just seems, and yeah, it's driving in London, it's just, just probably insane at the best of times. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, is like right beside this uh, Burger King, where I want today. I'll just give a co-worker uh, my receipt, because I did the survey, to get a free Whopper. It's their signature burger or whatever. <laughs> and I'll just give it to a co-worker. Here, use this within 30 days and you could get a free Whopper. I filled out a survey and then... Yeah. There's an authentication code and all that that I wrote down. And you just have to hand the receipt in and say, hey, I want a free Whopper. So I like the chicken sandwich. I was tempted to get a Whopper, but it had been my very first time being at a Burger King. But yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Will you go again in the next 30 days? Uh, maybe. I'd... <laughs> I don't want to make it an everyday thing, but it's a nice, quick, well, relatively quick snack. There's a woman working on the drive through window, and then she finally came to counter, like, they're short-staffed. That's fast food as of late, but... Yeah, I worked at McDonald's like years ago. Yeah, it's just now people just don't want to work those kind of jobs with such low pay. Yeah, or people just don't want to work. And it's like everybody gets upset having to wait for their order for like 15 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of annoying. I had to wait like 10 minutes just for a coffee, like at McDonald's the other day. Yeah, I don't just go to Tim Hortons all the time. Um, if, yeah, I, I don't mind the McDonald's coffee, so. McCafe or whatever. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Yeah, I know I could just like as easily make a cup of coffee at home within two minutes. But it, it is nice to go out. I don't know, that's basically my, my social aspect. Like just going to Walmart or whatever, just getting in the car and just going for a couple hours out and about. <laughs> Guess we're going to, my mom and I are going to Stratford tomorrow, she said, but I had to do other stuff that my mom just probably wouldn't like doing. So <laughs> we just do our own thing. But, yeah, I'd probably just go for the giggles. Oh, my mom having to, to go to Stratford, it's usually for like a hair appointment or something. She doesn't go out just for the giggles. So. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Eh, this is filling in slowly, but... Oh, glad getting closer to finishing this canvas. Oh, 
still tons of fun to do. Still an awesome canvas. Yeah, it kind of looks like there's a ton of 310 going on here, but I, I'm sure there's canvases that have a lot more 310 within them. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a bit, but yeah, it's not world ending by any means. There you go, drill by drill, I'll have this sucker filled in. Oh, excuse me. Oof. It's certainly getting harder to find music CDs at like Walmart, like new release stuff. Uh, I like the Chain Smokers, so I've listened to their new CD on YouTube Music. But yeah, it's great to have a CD on in the car. Like on the CD player, just get away from the radio. Yeah, it's just nice to listen to that stuff. Yeah, it's so far so good or something. I think their newest release is called Chain Smoker. Yeah, pretty cool. Not bad. And I have Chris Brown's newest release as well. Thank you, Amazon, because, like, holy cow. <laughs> it's like, you'd think that new release stuff would just be, like, in Walmart. Like, Reflex, I usually just go to Walmart to get CDs. Like new releases anyway, but yikes! <laughs> I've gone a couple times and it's just like uh, nothing's here, and I already have that CD. And <laughs> I usually leave the store with like a stack, like nearly a dozen CDs, but not lately. <laughs> I just go on Amazon. So, yeah, there you go. All good. I found them. Chain smokers and uh, Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> that, I just try to shuffle my playlist. Yeah, it kind of sounds like mainstream music media. Yeah, to an extent. Chain smokers gets played a lot. high I guess yeah I hear that like almost every day I hear Justin Bieber almost every day <laughs> I like Justin Bieber but I'm sure some people are just like groaning or change the station or scream every time he comes on like I <laughs> scream in terror but you know no oh, music is just accessible it's there and it's a good getaway helps me buckle down and focus while I'm not doing weapon chat so yeah <laughs> I could listen to music for hours if I wanted to, but you know, have to do other things. Yeah, as usual, I'm just making uh, smaller rectangles in this big sea of 310. The saga continues. <laughs> I 
That's one of the easier ways to fill out sections like these. I did wear a coat when I went out, but I started sweating. It's like warmer for fall. It, it's weird. Oh, it's in the teens for temperature. I'm pretty sure in a couple more days I'll just go back to normal. <laughs> the range is supposed to be. Now, oh, we'll see. I don't know. I'll have to sleep during the day. I work Wednesday, Thursday this week, so. Bad uh, night, that is. So. I have this short week and then another long week of nights and then I'm back on days. Confused yet? <laughs> I usually try to let people know what's going on. Schedule wise for work, what rotation I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> Nice clear day though, like the sky's blue. And the leaves look pretty cool. They're different colors. Fall's so nice. Yeah, fall's a cool season. Yeah, it's not quite winter, but it's a comfortable temperature. It's not searing hot. <laughs> Yeah, farmers are taking off their corn, or trying to take their corn off the fields nearby, so that's cool. Yeah, I think some farmers wait a little bit longer so they don't have to dry their harvest out. There's too much moisture in the corn. Is I think propane is pretty expensive to dry out uh, the corn crops, the kernels, or whatever. However, that works. I think the corn's uh, kerneled, like cleaned off the cob somehow, sharp blades or something. And it's harvested, so yeah. I'm not sure a hundred percent. Certainly, uh, farm equipment on the roads these days. So. I was stuck behind a piece of farm equipment the other day, uh, coming home from Stratford. I just stayed behind the vehicle, like. Yeah, there are like two dozen cars like past the farm equipment on the highway there. I just sat behind it. I just thought they were going to turn at one point, but nope. I just basically followed them into the same areas. Oh, I just. Patience is just not a virtue for some people, but that's how it goes sometimes. It just, yeah. Some days you just don't want to be the person sitting behind a piece of farm equipment. My visibility wasn't great. I couldn't see the opposing lane, like a head of the vehicle, so. I just stayed behind, uh, just let all our people pass. I don't know, the safest thing to do is, yeah, it takes mere milliseconds to get your car seriously mangled on the highway. No, and there are 
like notices on the radio about farm equipment be careful I don't hear them playing enough but they're out there kind of like mothers against drug driving or mad Canada or whatever those ads like yeah I seldomly hear them it's really weird maybe around holiday weekends but I don't know it's just Kind of those sensitive affect everybody kind of issues like drink driving and etc affects everybody involved but yeah just those ads just don't seem to get the airtime <laughs> that i have noticed anyway they're probably are bouncing around the radio somewhere but I don't know, I'd, I'd say a vast majority of people could access radio anytime, I, I'd imagine, but it's a pretty effective uh, way to communicate to a large number of people, but all depends what station you're on too, but yeah, I'm sure if there's like a major uh, vendor or something, yeah, they just relay the message to all the radio frequencies or something for an emergency. I know they've done amber alerts or emergency tests. Emergency signal tests on the radio. It's like an alarm. It certainly gets your attention. <laughs> amber alerts, yeah. If you have sound turned on your phone, it probably scares the crap out of you like 2 or 3 in the morning if a child goes missing. But then you get a text with information about it. I don't know. Some people have complained about getting woken up in the middle of the night for an amber alert. But yeah, that's kind of like... Uh, Waking up if your house is on fire, like, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be awake for that than, uh, yeah, just getting burnt alive in your house? Yeah, I kind of see how an amber alert can be annoying, but it's widespread because it all depends on the situation. In the amber alert like it could be in another province or territory in Canada I don't know if there's like a US version of amber alerts or anywhere else in the world but it's pretty effective it does get result But yeah, if you look at it and it doesn't pertain to your area, and yeah, I can see why people get irritated, but it's better just to spread the net out. Just wear, raise awareness for the missing child or something. Then, yeah, just do a small area. So, because you never know with some of those situations. Oh, sorry, I had to yawn, like, uh, I just slept, slept for a couple hours, but, but yeah, anyways, you've been watching uh, Echoes of Color of Jeffrey Morrison, down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram, I also post, uh, Walking Challenge website links, uh, Conqueror uh, five-part Lord of the Rings uh, challenge to virtually walk across Middle Earth, and Pacer, oh, excuse me, uh, Silk Road, uh, just trading routes in Asia that were used way back 700 AD, maybe. I don't know, yeah, just walking fitness thing that... I'm not affiliated or, yeah, they're just website links. So, yeah, I won't earn a commission or 
I'm not sponsored or anything. They're just there, just in case I talk about reading on the treadmill or whatever. So, But anyways, take care. All the best. I'll keep hacking away at this 310. And then I'll get to more color fairly soon. Alright, see you around. Bye.